Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. What did I say? I said about load and a half. I'm not sure that we are going to get a load and a half out of this field. Looking at what we've got left over there. I know that we've got, we've got like three big long runs up through there, but then they start to get quite noticeably shorter after that. And what are we on? We're... 53,000 by the end of this one. There we go. Hmm. I don't know. I genuinely don't know whether I'm... Uh, how far out I'm going to be. A lo one and a half loads, I said. So, if I'm between 40 and 50,000, that would be a very accurate half load. If I'm between 30 and 60,000 litres on one load and... Um, I get a full load as well. I would say that was still a reasonable guess. I don't think we're going to be that. I think we're going to do a full load. Now, looking at this now, I think it's going to actually be a full load and then a little bit besides. I don't think that we're going to be getting a full uh, a load and a half. I, I just don't think that's going to happen. Because um, I've still got nearly 30,000 litres to go to fill this load itself. And then, time to go and get a bit more. So there may not be three full loads to go over into the clamp over there. I may have overestimated the amount of grass that's lying. I mean, of course, you do have the difference between the grass here and the grass over in the small field that we're about to go and pick up. That is a significant difference between the two. There's, mind you, long runs here. You know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been putting these on. You can put these on regardless of whether you're actually filling up or not. Right, uh, 14,000 litres of space left in here. Maybe we will. Maybe it will. Helper J has completed their task. They've only got one tiny little field left. So we won't worry about them for a second. I want to fill this one up. You can have that over the top like that. Or we can unfold it. So we've got less than 10... Th no, I, I don't think we've got even the 30,000... We haven't got 30,000 litres here left. We haven't. I can see that. So I was a little bit out, but I mean, we, we have got at least a full load, and then we've got a little bit more. I just want to get another 4,500 into this one, and then we can go and dump this in the clamp. And I would say it would be a good idea to go and get the mower going in the last field as quickly as possible, purely so that the hay is all sort of finished at around the same time. Now, if I put that one over the top, like that, bounce through there... There, so now you've got that one. I mean, you only really need to use that when you're bombing up and down the roads. If you're just sort of going across your fields, there's no real need to go using that one. But if you are going up and down the public roads, then putting that on is a good thing because it stops any unnecessary bits of chaff or anything blowing off onto the surrounding road, which could cause a problem for drivers. And obviously, if you're going around and... Your actions are creating hazardous conditions for drivers. That's frowned upon. It is generally frowned upon. Um, by frowned upon, I mean you can get quite a heavy fine at sometimes. Now, I'll bring you over there. I want you to fill back up that side. And then I want to bring you down here. We're going to travel fast down to this point. And then we're going to let it start filling up again. Like this. That's what I want. I want the rest of it down this side of it. Right here. Put out every single little bit that I can. There. Squish it up tight. That's perfect. So then I can go and get another one. Except that I'm not going to. I'm going to switch over to that Zerion. And we're going to do that small field first. So let's go to you. Up here. You have finished this field, you said. And the, what, the good thing about the AI vehicle extension... He says, as he realises that there is... No, there isn't. The good thing about the AI vehicle extension is that it does actually, when it's doing, like, the short diagonals like that, it does usually pick up all of the grass. It does usually cut all of it. It doesn't leave those annoying little triangles behind. It obviously didn't down here because of um, issues. But those issues don't really matter because I can just bring you in here like this. And it's going to go like that. It doesn't matter what side it thinks it's cutting on because it's only got to do one pass. So it's just going to go up through there. 
and then I can go into the next field in just a second. So you will go up to there like that, and you'll go up to there like that. Helper A has completed their task. So let's start you and start that mower and go in here. And we need to start mowing this field. Right. Control V. And again, there, yeah, dump that down and dump that one down as well. And we've got our last little bit of hay in here. So I need to just follow the edge of the field. I'm gonna use I'm gonna go twice around this field and then I will put the standard AI doing this one because anything more than that I think is just going to confuse the issue. The AI vehicle extension is good for big fields, but for little tiny fields, because of the calculations that it's gotta run whilst trying to turn itself around corners and that. It's actually a, a slower option. It's better to use the standard AI to do it. Because um, the standard AI is pretty good. I know it does have its problems. I know it does have its faults. And I'm not going to say that it doesn't. But I still think that the standard AI is a pretty good option. Right? It, it's, it's certainly hugely improved over some of the previous editions. Um, it's able to figure things out a lot better, especially when it's dealing with unusual shapes. I mean, when it's dealing with a perfect square, it's easy. And we all know that the AI is... It's... It was originally designed for perfect squares, wasn't it? Everything was in perfect squares, and that seemed to be kind of what it was designed for, or the, like the 45-degree triangles. But I even then, um, you always seem to have a little bit of a problem with it when it's dealing with triangles. Um, but now, with the um, improvements that they've made, it's much better able to handle unusual shapes in the field and I've I've noticed a huge improvement on what the standard AI is able to do if you've got a really unusual shape feel like triangles everywhere on it um, yes you are going to be left with a bit of a mess and you are going to have to manually go back over it afterwards and you're gonna have to tidy things up a little bit um, there's not a great deal that you can do about that and that is one of the big limitations of the standard AI. And that's where the AI vehicle extension does come into its own. It is generally able to cope with them. Although we have noticed here doing that field there, um, it still struggles a little bit. I mean, it's not all of it uh, the fault of the AI vehicle extension. Some of it was the fault of me not being all that familiar with it still and setting it going on the wrong courses. If I'd changed how I'd approached that field, then the AI vehicle extension would have performed a lot better than it did. Let's just bring up the map again and see where we're going. So I want to go up this way. I want to go control H like that. I want to switch you onto vehicle off. You've got AI vehicle off or AI vehicle on. It does sometimes do a third option. I'm not quite sure what. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll bring you over to there and I'll set you going. All right probably going to leave some triangles somewhere. I'm probably not far enough over. Oh, am I going to get all the grass? Just. Okay, I didn't think I was actually going to get all of that. Probably not far enough over to get everything. Maybe he is. Honestly, I don't really care. I'm just going to leave that where it is. I'm going to go back to you, and we're going to go and get another load. We're going to bring that one in, and then once we've got our next load, then we can worry about uh, rolling out that clamp properly. I'm just starting up a new recording session and you may be able to tell from the somewhat um, croaky nature of my voice that uh, things are not going quite so well in the land of Frithgar at the moment. I have got myself a rather unpleasant cold and I have a bit of a chest infection that goes with it. Um, I've been getting quite a few colds over this last year and some people have expressed concern. I now know the root cause of the reason I've been getting colds. I've had a tooth that has been causing me some problems for a little while and didn't really think anything of it. The dentist thought that it was unusually sensitive or something like that. Um, I've since had an... A, a, also thought that maybe it had moved slightly due to a, a misshapen wisdom tooth. But I've since had some other x-rays done at the hospital and it turns out that there is that this tooth is actually got an infection underneath it and this would be why my tooth has been hurting for not 
constantly causing me pain just if I chew something hard on that tooth then I get a little spasm of pain from it so nothing on you it's, it's like nothing particularly extraordinary but it does mean that I've had an infection underneath his tooth for a better part of a year and that would be why I've been getting all these colds so anybody that has been uh, you know concerned I do appreciate your concern I really do um you don't need to worry too much. Uh, it does mean that I've got yet another cold that I'm going through, and this one is particularly nasty. It's been hurting to breathe all weekend. Um, I slept for about 13 hours straight last night, and I did consider not doing recordings this week. Um, but I'm going to push through. I'm going to do shorter recordings, so I'm just going to do a few 20-minute videos for this week. So that will be... Um, for you, this is Tuesday, Wednesday, and next Monday, we'll have 20 minutes each. Um, some of which was, you know, this is Wednesday for you now, by the way, I am aware of that, um, because yesterday's video was recorded last week. Um, well, most of it was, well, now all of it, because I've made it shorter. Uh, but anyway, um, the, the important thing is, why am I just sat here watching this one instead of doing the other bit that I need to do? Well, I, I don't really know, I should be doing the other bit. We, we need to carry on with this. We do need to finish this up. We want to get this last last of the grass picked up and taken over to... We've we got this one and we've got that one over there. We need to get those picked up and taken over. Um, but we've also got, before I just go and do that, we've also got the new DLC. This is the important bit. This is the big bit, the, the really awesome, cool bit. It's the bit that we want to see. The new DLC in here. I did do a first look video, but look at some of these beautiful toys. This one in particular. I love the look of this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. Is that not beautiful? That is what we're going to use to do some silage at some point. We won't do it this year because we're using our corn to harvest for corn. So we'll be using the combine. There's so much stuff in here like this DLC. We're going to be using a lot of class things on this map from this point on. We've got a nice little Tucano right over here. This has got 11,000 litre tank on it. Um, or we can go big with the Lexian 8900. The Lexian 8900, you may notice, has an 18,000 litre tank on board. Yeah, you heard that right. 18,000 litres of pure, unadulterated class purity. It is absolutely wonderful. Class purity, that sounds so wrong on so many levels. That really does. That, 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 let me rephrase that. Of, of, of class, uh, uh, amazement, wondrous, uh, um, just let's not use the word purity in association with class, shall we? Because that, that just seems wrong on so many levels to me. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> excuse me. We do also have the Cargos over here, which is a 53,000 litre one. That one does look quite cool. I'm not going to use it at the moment because we've got our 90,000 litre one. We've got various tractors. We've got a Zerian right here. And the Zerian has got, uh, if we go for the 5,000, we can go up to 530 horsepower on that one. Um, yeah, 530 horsepower. I don't know what the one is that we're using at the moment. If we go into the garage a minute. We have a look at our current Zerian right there. Oh, it's the Zerian 5000. It's 600 horsepower. Okay, so the one that we've got is actually a little bit bigger. So we'll probably get another Z I Well, I don't know. We might not get another Zerian. We might go with the, the Axion 960 over here. Because if we go with the Axion 960 there, that gives us a 445 horsepower engine. And if we look in our garage, our biggest non-articulated tractor that we're running around is the fence with 517. So that's actually bigger still. Um, so yeah, we've, we've got some big tractors. There are some big ones available in here. So maybe we won't use too many of the tractors, but that's certainly big. That one right there. It doesn't row up like the mowers that we're using at the moment, but it's does have a 10 meter spread on it, which is pretty good. And then we've got these over here, this wheel loader, the Torian 1914. That is a beast of a loader. It's about the same size as the ones that are already in the game. I'd like to try out this baler and see what that one's like. Um, that one is a different mod. Don't worry about that. That's an extra, a little old dominator. And then we've also got that one there, the dev mule. 
Now, I've been told that this weird pattern is to stop people being able to spy on the factory, take pictures from a distance and see exactly what it is. It, it masks kind of a lot of stuff that they're doing with it. That's why they have that weird color on there. So anyway, that's the stuff that we've got. So we've got a combine that is sat over by the dealership and we will be selling that combine and we will be buying the Lexian instead to start doing to do our harvest with I think that is that that, that that's a given we're, we're, we're definitely going to get rid of that combine and we will use the Lexian instead because that Lexian it looks like such a, a beautiful beastie it really does it looks absolutely amazing so what I want to do is I just want to finish up doing the um, the gathering of the grass in this field and then once we've gathered up this a little bit, we can go over and we can finish gathering the grass in the other field. The, um, actually the, the grass has already been, the, the mowing is finished over there. We had one more field that we were going to do, didn't we? It was one little field that we were going to do as well. So we've got that one that we can go and do. After that, I think we're just about done. I don't think we've got to worry about it too much. Um... Some people have said that they don't know if the combines are going to be able to cope with doing those fields over there with those patches. With the bits that are missing, they think that the combines, um, the standard hired help, may struggle with it. And also the AI vehicle extension might struggle a little bit with those. I think the AI vehicle extension will actually be alright. I think it will cope with it. Standard hired help may struggle. We'll wait and see. I'm, I'm going to sort of keep my... Uh, um, I'm, I'm going to keep, well, not my options open. Um, I'm, I'm not going to sort of make up my mind on it just yet. Uh, we, we, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's, um, let's just finish this up. Hang on. I'll finish this up and I can have a drink at the same time. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, how was your weekend? Get into the comments section and tell me how your weekend was. I realize that for you it's now the middle of the week. Um, but I'm curious how your weekends went, um, mainly because I spent my weekend lying in bed, almost the whole of it. Um, there, there was a few moments when I wasn't in bed, uh, I, I did get out of bed to sort of, um, well, I, I did try to do a few things and ended up just sort of getting, breaking out into horrible sweats and going back to bed. Um, I didn't sleep very well to start with, and then Saturday night I slept about 12 hours which is quite remarkable really that's a long time to sleep um then spent almost the entire day in bed on Sunday I, I did spend a large portion of Saturday in bed as well um almost the whole day why am I getting these little lag spikes like this seems a little bit odd might be because of uh, ah, we, you do get that, don't you? When you update the game to a new version, sometimes when you're first driving around the map again, you do get these little lag spikes as you turn up in different places. And I have updated the version of the game. Uh, in order to be able to put the DLC, the, um, the, the, the Platinum version, onto this map, uh, or onto the game, you do need to go and update your game to version, I think it's 1.5 or 1.5.1 or something. But anyway, there is an update there. If you're on Steam, it'll do it automatically, obviously. Uh, if you're not on Steam, you need to go to the website and download the update so that you can get the class DLC. Um, so the... Um, yeah, that might be why we're getting these little lag spikes. But anyway, my weekend, yeah, I, I, I spent almost the entire day on Sunday in bed and then... I think I had close to 14 hours sleep last night. So this is Monday for me right now. Um, my wife, DSN Leia, she woke me up at about half past 11, quarter to 12, and said, do you want to stay asleep or do you need to go and do some stuff? Um, well, I did actually need to go and do some stuff, so it was a good job she woke me up. But, yeah, she, she woke me up at half past 11. I'd had, I, I think it was close to 14 hours sleep, which is ridiculous. That That is a ridiculous amount of time to be asleep. 14 hours. I, I don't think I've ever done that before. I do feel a little bit better for it. I'm not shivering and sweating quite so much today. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not feeling very good, and if I take a deep breath, it, it's still painful, but... Um, other than that, things are starting to improve. So I'm hoping as the week wears on, things will get better. And I'm also hoping that I will be able to do the live stream this week. I don't want to cancel the live stream if I can help it. 
And then I'm also hoping that next week at some point, my dear beloved dentist will be able to pull out this... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.